submitted your DS-160, booked your interview slot and then realized that there are mistakes in your form? Don't worry, this video has got you covered. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find a lot of videos on the US visa process, so make sure to check it out. Something which I get asked very, very commonly is how do I correct mistakes in DS-160 once I submit it? A lot of times we submit our DS-160 and then realize that, okay, the date of birth was entered wrong or the passport number was entered wrong and all these are important details which need to be accurate. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my laptop screen with you and I will be showing you how you can log into your DS-160 and correct the mistakes. Keep on watching. Hi, welcome to my laptop. So the first thing to retrieve your DS-160 is to go to the Department of State website and that's the website that I'm on. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, go to the Get Started tab and select the location and enter the CAPTCHA code. Now this is the same location that you would have selected previously while filling your DS-160. So let's do that. And then let's enter the code. Once you're done with that, you'll see that there are three options below to start, to upload and to retrieve. Now, since our DS-160 is already submitted, we are going to retrieve that application. So click on retrieve application. So this takes you to a page which says retrieve a DS-160 application. Here you need to enter your application ID. Now I have mentioned in one of my previous videos that the application ID is the ID you get when you fill your DS-160 and that is extremely important. So you need to enter that here. In case you don't remember your application ID, do refer to the confirmation page that you would have got after you filled your DS-160. That confirmation page will have your application ID. So we're going to enter that ID here and then click on retrieve application. Next, it asks the security questions. Again, these security questions uh, were filled in by you when you were filling your DS-160. So you need to give the same answers here. So I'm going to fill this in. and click on retrieve application. Once I click on retrieve application, it takes me to my DS-160 form, which was already submitted. And now I can go through this form and make the changes that I want to make. Let's say that I wanted to correct my date of birth, then I can come back here and correct it and so on. In this way, you can go through all the pages of the DS-160, double check everything and make whatever changes that you wanted to make. And once you're done with all of that, again, you follow the same procedure of e-signing the form and submitting the form. Two things that you need to keep in mind is that once you submit the form, you will get a new confirmation page, which will have a new barcode and a new application ID as well. So take note of that. The old application ID will no longer be valid. And the second thing to keep in mind is that this process of making changes in DS-160 will be available to you for a period of 30 days after you submit the form. So only within those 30 days period, you can retrieve your old DS-160 and correct it. If it has been passed 30 days, then you would need to fill a new DS-160 form. But we'll talk more about that in a different video. If you're filling the DS-160 on your own, then I have a toolkit which will help you do this accurately and easily. This toolkit consists of templates to help you prepare answers for the DS-160, a 60-minute video guide which is going to be like your personal coach and lots more. Do check the link in the description box below to know all the details about this toolkit. For any more questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. You can also reach out to me via Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. It's right below. You can DM me here. To prepare for the US visa interview, do check out these two videos on the US visa interview process. I'm sure they're going to help you. You can also book a one-to-one -one consultation session with me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this has helped you. Do give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.